First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rechakodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, meaning the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son, and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem Rechakodash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. The bondage to the elders and apostles of a great millstone and shall it want to the for elect that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, which are your so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and shall it want to your speckled birds and your Israelite foreigners that scatter out in the other nations that look like the other nations but are in fact Israelites. And the topic of this lesson is going to be on John chapter 1, verses 10 through 12, all right? And, uh, you know, the spirit pretty much hit me to go ahead and go into this uh, lesson right quick, you know, because um, typically this is uh, some go to scriptures that these, uh, you know, these so-called Christians like to cherry pick. And uh, they like to try to say that, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is now dealing with all nations of people or salvation is now open unto all nations of people. All right. And, uh, you know, and the reason they say that is because. You know, when you read John chapter 1, verses 10 through 12, you know, uh, you know, it talks about how Yahweh Shai, he came unto his own, his own being Israel, and, uh, you know, his own didn't receive him, you know, so then it goes on to talk about how, you know, as many as did receive him, you know, uh, he gave them power to become, you know, the sons of Yahweh, all right? So these Christians, they think that, you know, because his own didn't receive him you know now salvation is now open unto uh all nations of people or Yahweh by shimmy is dealing with all nations of people right and what these christians fail to realize is that you know john chapter 1 verses 10 through 12 you know is still only dealing with israel you know you know it doesn't suddenly change over it and start talking about other nations of people right because when you understand the scriptures you know uh Israel was only given, you know, uh, the, the, the adoption, you know, the ability to become, become uh, sons of Yahweh by Shemiah Washai, you know, that was only given to Israel, all right? You know, and I'm going to bring that out, you know, later on, later on in this lesson. But, uh, you know, that's a big misconception amongst a lot of people that, you know, uh, since Yah Yahweh Shai's own didn't receive him, now salvation is now open to all, all people all right and also what you have to understand is that you know uh all of israel didn't reject yahweh shai all right you know just like you have you how you have it today you know you have some israel some of israel that you know they receive yahweh shai you know then you have some of israel that don't you know they don't receive this truth all right so it, it was the same way back then you know so you know through the spirit lord willing you brothers and you sisters are edified and uh you know let me just go ahead and get into the scriptures all right so uh let's go ahead and start at the top this is john chapter one and uh verse one and it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god verse two and the same was in the beginning with god verse three all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made all right so you know uh these scriptures right here you know it's it's, it's talking about yahweh shot you know because when you read the scriptures the word is synonymous you know with yahweh shot all right that's another name for yahweh shot so let's go ahead and prove that you know this is talking about yahweh shot right quick this is colossians chapter one gonna start in verse 12 all right and it says giving thanks unto the father which hath made us meet to be partakers in the inheritance of the saints in light verse 13 who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son all right his dear son is talking about Yahweh shot verse 14 and whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins verse 15 who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. Verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, 
visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All right. Verse 17. And he is before all things by him. All things consist. All right. So pretty much saying the same thing that we just read about in John chapter one and uh, verses one through three. You know, everything was created by, you know, Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, specifically verse three, you know, that lets us know that, you know, who's being spoken of right here is Yahweh Shai. He's that word. All right. Let's read again. Verse three. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made was was not anything made that was made. All right. So Yahweh Shai, you know, he's the first spirit created and through him, everything, you know, exists. You know, Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the, the power to create everything that was, that's in existence. All right, let's continue. Verse four, in him was life and the life was the light of men. Verse five, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Verse six, there was a man sent from Yahweh whose name was John. Verse seven, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Verse 8, he was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. All right. So John, he was sent to bear witness of that light. And that light is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 9, that was the true, that, that the true, like that was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. All right. Now we're going to get into the topic. Verse 10, he was in the world and the world was made by him. Yahweh Shai. And the world knew him not. Verse 11, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. All right, so Yahweh Shai, he came unto his own people, you know, the Israelites, and they didn't receive him. All right, verse 12, but as many as received him to them gave, to them gave he power to become the sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe it, that believe on his name. All right. So there again, you know, when these Christians, they read that and they think that, number one, you know, all of Israel didn't receive him, you know, and that's completely false. You know, later on in this lesson, I'm going to bring out a few precepts, precepts to show you that, you know, some of the Jews and which are Israelites did receive Yahweh Shai, all right? They believed in him, you know? And then number two, where these Christians go wrong, they think that, you know, uh, verse 12 is talking about other nations, all right? This is still only dealing with Israel, all right? So before I jump the gun, let's go ahead and prove that, you know, Yahweh Shai's own is uh, Israelites, all right? So let's go to Matthew chapter 1. And uh, let's start at verse 20. And it says, But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Verse 21. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right. Now let's see who is Yahushai's people. All right. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. All right. And it says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right? So as we read in Matthew chapter 1, verse 20 through 21, Yahweh Shah was sent for to save his people from their sins, all right? Then when you link that with Matthew 15 and verse 24, that's who he's talking about, all right? And then, you know, when you link that back to John chapter 1, uh, verses 10 through 12, that lets you know who his own is, all right? So since we solidified that, you know, uh, matter of fact, I want to prove it a little bit more, you know, because this is going to go into how Yahweh Shai's own rejected him. All right. So let's go to Mark chapter six. And uh, let's start at verse one. And it says, and he, he went out from thence and came into his own country and his disciples followed him. Verse two. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these, uh, these things? 
and what wisdom is um, so like, and what wisdom is this which is given unto him that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands all right so you know they were pretty much amazed and astonished by you know the mighty works that Yahweh was doing all right verse 3 is not this the carpenter the son of Mary the brother of James and Hoseas and of Judah and Simon and are not his sisters here with us and they were offended at him all right verse 4 but Yahweh said unto them a prophet is not without honor but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house, all right? So that shows you right there, you know, Yahweh Shah's own people, you know, did not accept him, all right? Let's uh, get a, let's let's get another uh, account of this. You know, it's pretty much gonna say the same thing, but you know, it's uh, gonna go a little bit more in depth, all right? So uh, let's get Matthew chapter 13, and uh, let's start at verse 53. All right, and it says, And it came to pass that when Yahweh had finished these parables, he departed thence. Verse 54. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in, the, in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? All right. Pretty much saying the same thing that we just read about in, um, in Mark. All right. You know, they were astonished and amazed of Yahweh mighty works. Verse 55. Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren James and Hoseas and Simon and Judas? All right. So, you know, this is off topic. But, you know, this scripture right here alone, you know, cuts the whole immaculate or the whole immaculate conception doctrine, you know, of Yahweh Shah not having, you know, an earthly father, you know, not coming from uh, the seed of a physical man, of, of an earthly man. All right. As you see right here, it says, Is not this the carpenter's son? All right. Yahweh Shai indeed came from the seed of a man. All right. You know, but that's a topic for another time. All right. Let's continue. Verse 56. And his sisters are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? Verse 57. And they were offended in him. But Yahweh Shai said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save men that accept in his own country and his own house. Verse 58. And he did not merit he lucky, and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Alright. So you had some of Yahweh Shai's own people that were offended in him, that didn't accept him, and didn't believe in him. Alright. You know, but does that mean, you know, um uh, all of Yahweh Shah's people, the Israelites, didn't believe on him? No, that's that's not what it's saying. You know, because you still had, you know, uh Jews or Israelites that did, you know, believe in him. Alright. So uh let's go ahead and um get there right quick. Let's go to uh John chapter seven. Alright. You know, we're gonna stick in the same chapter. You know, that these uh Christians try to use to try to say that, you know, uh salvation is now open unto all all nations of people because you know his own didn't receive him all right so this is uh john chapter 7 and uh where are we gonna start at we're gonna start at verse 30 all right it says then they sought to take him but no man laid hands on him because of, because his hour was not yet come verse 31 and many of the people believed on him and said, when, Hamashi, when the Hamashiach cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? All right. You know, so as you see right here, there were some that, you know, believed on Yahweh Shai, all right? And this is talking about Israelites, you know? But let's, let's prove that furthermore. And we're going to stick in the same book, all right? John chapter 11. And uh, let's start at verse. Let's start at verse forty-one, and it says, "Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Yahweh shall lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me.' Verse forty-two. And I knew, and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it. 
that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Verse 44. And he that was dead came forth. All right. So he brought, pretty much brought Lazarus brought back to life. All right. Bound hand and foot with grave cloths, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Yahweh said unto them, Loose him and let him go. All right. Verse 45 is the point. And it says, Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Yahweh did believed on him. All right. You know, so you had Jews, which are Israelites, you know, Yahushua's people, they believed on him. All right. So that whole idea of, you know, all of Israel rejecting Yahushua or not uh, believing on him, that's that's a, that's false. All right. You know, you still had, you know, Israelites that believed on him, you know, and that's that's pretty much who verse 12 is going into where it talks about as many as received him. To them gave he power to become become sons of of Yahweh. Those are that's who that's who that's talking about. The Israelites that did believe, all right, not other nations, you know. But uh, I'm gonna prove that. But before I get into that, I want to get one more precept to show that you you still had Jews and Israelites that believed on them, all right. So let's get uh John chapter 12 and verse nine. We're gonna start at verse nine. And it says, much people of the Jews therefore knew that he was there, and they came not for Yahweh's sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. Verse 10. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death. Verse 11 is the point. Because they had that because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away. And believe on Yahweh, all right? So there again, you, you still had Jews, Israelites, that believed on Yahweh, all right? You know, so all of Israel did not reject Yahweh, you know? You still had some that believed on him, you know, it's the same way that we have it today. You know, you have a lot of Jakes or Israelites that don't, you know, believe on Yahweh, that don't believe in his truth. Then you have some that do, all right? You know, it's not really that hard to comprehend. Um, let's get John chapter 13 right quick because this is going to go into how you know Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, he loved his own until the end, you know, until when he was about to get crucified. All right, this is uh, John chapter 13 and verse 1. All right, and it says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Yahweh Shai knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end, all right? And we know his own is Israelites, you know? So he loved his own unto the end, you know? While, yes, you did have some of his own that rejected him and whatnot, but he still loved his own unto the end, you know? It didn't say he loved other nations now, <laughs> you know? It said he loved his own, all right? Point blank, period, all right? So now... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go back to John chapter 1 and uh, let's expound a little bit more on uh, John chapter 1 verse 12, all right? Let's read it. So, like, let's just start at verse 10 again. It says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Verse 11, He came unto his own, and his own received him not, all right? And we already established who his own was. Those are talking about Israelites, all right? Verse 12. But as many as received him, and as you as we just read, you know, there were Jews, Israelites, that did receive him. To them gave he power to become sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe on his name, all right? So pretty much this is going to going into the adoption, all right? You know, when you understand what the adoption is all about. The adoption only pertains to Israel. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that. Let's go to Galatians chapter four. And we're going to start at verse one. All right. And it says, now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though, though he be Lord of all. Verse two, 
but is under the tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Verse three, even so with so like even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. All right, verse 44, Slaki, like verse four is the point, all right? And it says, but when, when the fullness, Slaki, like, you know, verse, uh, verse five is the point, all right? Verse four, but when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent for his son, made of a woman, made under the law, all right? Verse five, to redeem them that were under the law, all right? Now, who was under the law? You know the israelites because the israelites were the only ones that was given the laws out there in the wilderness after le leaving e egypt all right let's continue that we might receive the adoptions of sons all right and you know this uh the adoption of sons the adoption in general is only pertaining to israel all right you know and the laws was only given to israel all right so uh let's just solidify all that right quick you know Let's go to Romans chapter 9 and let's start at verse 1. And it says, I say the truth in the Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Verse 3, for I could wish that myself were a curse from my so I could for a curse from the Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. All right, verse four is the point. All right, and it's gonna bring all this home. Verse four, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. All right, that goes back to what we just read in uh, Galatians chapter four, verse six. All right, the service of Yahweh and the promises. All right, you know, so the adoption, the covenants, the law, you know, the service of Yahweh and the promises, is, it's all pertaining to, you know, it all pertains to Israel, right? But the point being is that, you know, the adoption, the ability to become sons of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, that, that's only for Israel, all right? So, you know, let's go back to uh, John chapter 1, and let's read it in its context, now that we understand who the... Uh, who was given the ability to uh, become, you know, sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? So uh, let's let's start at verse 10 again, all right? And it says, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Verse 11, he came unto his own, and his own received him not, all right? You know, talking about Yahweh Shai coming to Israel, you know, those of his own people, and they received him not. You know, we... We solidified that in Mark chapter 6, you know, in Matthew chapter 13, so on and so forth, all right? Verse 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe on his name, all right? You know, and as we just read in Galatians chapter 4, in Romans chapter 9, all right, that the ability to become sons of Yahweh, all right, the adoption, that only pertains to Israelites, all right? You know, so you so you uh so-called Christians that like to pull John chapter one, verse 10 through 12 to try to say that, you know, uh, you know, your salvation is open to all nations of people, or you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dealing with all nations of people because, you know, um Israel rejected Yahweh Shai, you know, that's completely false, all right? You know, as we just proved in this video. Well, number one, all of Israel did not reject Yahweh Shai. You know, you had some Jews and Israelites that received him and followed him and, and believed in him. All right. And then number two, the adoption, the ability to become sons of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is only given to Israel. All right. Point blank, period. So as always, with that being said, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rechakudash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you brothers is out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.